Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. Which tool can be used by the business users to create their own reports in SSRS? The name of the tool is the Report Builder. So let's say you have installed the Report Builder already on your machine. You can go to the search and type Report Builder. And you see that Report Builder 3.0. This is the latest version of Report Builder available. So click here, it will open a Report Builder for us. If you do not know how to install a Report Builder, you can go to the techbrothersit.com and then SSRS video tutorial. Then you can go ahead and find the Report Builder tab. And I have all different types of videos related to the Report Builder. How to install Report Builder for SQL Server and the different type of videos uh, to create different type of reports uh, by using the report builder. I recommend watching these videos uh, and you will learn a lot of stuff uh, from here. Let's get back to the question. Uh, once uh, the report builder is open, uh, the business user uh, need to connect to the report server. Uh, so here you see no current uh, report server. They can click on uh, connect and then select the report server. Uh, once they connect to the report server, then they can go ahead and create the reports and deploy or save the reports to the report server. Just remember that they need to have a permission on the report server. So let's say if we would like to create very simple report as a business user, we'll be right clicking on data source, add data source. And here we have already used data sources. If I would like to browse, then I can go to the data sources folder and one of the data sources is called sales. And I can select that one and hit OK. Now I have the data source. Now let me create the data set. Now I can use a shared data set if it is available on a report server or I can use embedded data set in my report. So I'm going to use the embedded here. So I will say select asterisk from DBO total sale table. Now hit OK and all the fields are displayed here. So right click here, insert a table and bring a couple of fields. Now our report is ready and we are business users, we are creating reports and finally we would like to save this report to the server as well. Let's go to back to the design. Now we will hit save button. Once we hit save button, it will ask where would you like to save the report on the server that we have connected. So let's select one of the folder called reports and I'm going to call this one untitled one hit save button now the report is saved to the server now if you would like to open a report from server uh, you can go ahead and do that as well you can click here on the round button and click open and then uh, navigate to the folder and the report which you want to open so click one of them and uh, you can see that this report is uh, open now you can make any changes and then save back you have to ha have uh, hit save button and it will save the report back. Remember that as a business user, user sorry, you need to have a permission to publish these reports back to the report server. So if you don't have permission, you will not be able to access data sources. You will not be able to save the reports to the report server. So you need to contact your DBA and get that information. So I will recommend mention all these points in the interview. Now other way to open the report builder is going to the report manager. So this is the web interface that we use to manage the reports. So here if I'm on home, I will see the report builder button. If I will click this button, it's going to open the same report builder what we have already opened here. So the business user have two ways to connect or to start the the development of their report one way they can start from search and open a report builder and connect to the report server other way they can connect to the report manager no, sorry to they can connect to the report server by using a report manager interface and once they are there they can start their report builder from there and open the reports save the reports create the reports and save back to the report server so once again Thanks very much for watching this video and good luck with your interview. I will see you guys in the next video.